Cancer remains one of the greatest epidemics that we're dealing with in this modern world. Just in the United States alone, there was almost 2 million cases reported of cancer. Not only that, over 600,000 people died of cancer in the United States in 2018. This is an increasing problem that we're dealing with. And yes, there's advances of cancer treatment, but yet the problem is, is that we're still using things as such as surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation as our go-to. As successful as they might be, they're not at where we would like to see them. A process known as autophagy is something that happens naturally in our body. It is one of the latest therapeutic techniques that is under investigation when it comes to cancer treatment. Scientists have found that this particular process, autophagy, that happens naturally in the human body may hold the potential of assisting in treatment of cancer. And I'm going to dive more into this about how autophagy can play a role into cancer treatment right after this intro, so stay tuned. Hey, what's up fasters? Dr. Legrand here, here for another fasting video. If you're not subscribed to our channel, we post every Tuesday and Thursday about fasting videos. So if you're interested in finding out more about fasting, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, so you don't miss out on any other future videos. So let's dive in about autophagy and cancer. Researchers have found that autophagy has become a very beneficial fact when it comes to cancer treatment. Not only is a lot of the research being done on animal studies when it comes to autophagy and cancer and tumor cells, but there is emerging studies with human studies when it comes to reducing tumor cells with autophagy. It is known that autophagy dysfunction, when it is dysfunctioned, then there is an increase of cancer cells being developed. If you think about it, autophagy's job is to get rid of old unnecessary cells, debris, and even precancerous cells. And if it is being hindered, stopped, in that process, over time, those precancer cells can be developed and grow into bigger tumors, then of course be an issue for us further down the road. But researchers have also found that by inducing autophagy, it can reduce those cancer cells by breaking down and making it more vulnerable. So when we do use chemotherapy or radiation, they are more vulnerable to that treatment to break down those cancer cells. Research is still in its early stages when it does come to autophagy and looking at the effects when it comes to cancer, because it really does depend on the stage of the cancer, depending on where the patient's at in their cancer stage, as well as the type of tumor that we're dealing with. But the interesting findings that we have found is that there is some studies that have shown that even fasting, which we do know increases autophagy levels, do benefit in the fact of bringing down the toxic levels when chemotherapy is administered during that process of treatment. In one of the studies, they took mice that fasted for 60 hours and they injected etoposide, which is a chemotherapy medication. And when they induced autophagy levels by administering fasting, they found that it was a protectant for the body, that the body's healthy cells were protected from the chemotherapy. They also found that fasting not only did it improve autophagy levels, but it also, on particular cancer cells, made it more sensitive so that when chemotherapy or other cancer treatment was administered made it more sensitive to break down those cancer cells. So you think about it, autophagy's job is to break down debris, cancer tumors, precancerous cells, and what it does is it makes those cells more vulnerable. When we do administer things such as chemotherapy, radiation, it's going to break down that cancer cell at a faster pace and easier to be able to penetrate through it. They also found that fasting and increased autophagy levels help suppress increasing growth cancer cells. Furthermore, in another study, they found that water fasting did help suppress growth of cancerous cells. It was more of a preventative measure that they found because, again, increasing those autophagy levels. Further research is being done on autophagy and how it plays a role in cancer, specifically cancer treatment to specifically how it actually can penetrate the cancer cells as well as being administered along with things such as like chemotherapy or cytotoxic drugs that we use with cancer patients. Because if they could be used tied in together, it could just make that treatment process more effective. 
So in conclusion, autophagy is a promising treatment to assist in cancer because not only does it start breaking down the cancer cells and help with things such as like chemotherapy to help chemotherapy to do a better job, but also it can prevent from having cancer or precancerous cells in our body to consistently breaking those down so that we don't have to deal with cancer further down the road for us. But as I said before, it does depend on the type of stage that the person is in as far as how long their cancer is been progressing as well as the type of tumor. But this is a promising studies that have been coming more and more forward to be able to see how autophagy can really help with cancer. But in all, this is really promising when it comes to cancer treatment because autophagy is really beneficial for the body as long as it's done right when you're doing your fasting properly to induce autophagy levels. If you guys have any questions about cancer, are you dealing with cancer right now? Are you working with a doctor with trying to look at doing autophagy? Please leave that in the comments section below. I'd like to know. Everybody here in the community would love to hear about it. If you like this video, give us a big thumbs up, share with your family and friends. And if you have not watched our other videos on autophagy, especially how long and what autophagy is, go ahead and click on this playlist over here and then check out all these others. And then of course, as always, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, hit the subscribe button right here so you don't miss out on any other fasting videos that we do on this channel. Till next time, this is Dr. Legrand signing out. Thanks, bye.